You know, most people would in the business school community would would love it if Frank Eats went away. Well, they're not going to go away. But the more important thing is, I think that overall, despite the fact that they can be a nuisance, admittedly, and despite the fact that they are flawed, give tremendous、uh, mind share of the value and need for business education. As much as we. You know, wring our hands over rankings, and we have this love-hate relationship with them. Overall, it's been an incredibly positive force and endorsement of the importance and the value of business education. You know, rankings have probably hit their peak. I wouldn't say that they're less relevant. Here's what I would say: that any one ranking is less relevant than it used to be because there's so many rankings, and so there is a, a bit of confusion. In the marketplace, because of the multiplicity of rankings, because you go to a business school site, <clears throat> and when、uh, a school remarks on its rankings, it obviously will pick and choose、um, how it interprets a ranking in its best light, right? So you know the classic use of this is a public university in the United States. Uh, separates all the private schools and says, you know, we're blank、um, on public universities or in our state, you know, we're number one or number two.、Uh, so you cherry pick the data and the findings、um, to put yourself in the most positive light.